So Laura, give me some examples of how um, people have entered into the Community of Hope and, and what y'all do. What we do is actually very vast. We have a broad and deep list of um, ways that we embody our ministry every day. But firstly, we are a Benedictine community within ourselves and within the larger community of Grace Church. So that means that we have made a commitment to be accountable to each other using St. Benedict's rule of life which is embedded in very basic principles of adhering to a rule of life, being um, practicing humility and being obedient to this idea of work and prayer. And what's been amazing to me is that that has really unfolded here at Grace, that the Community of Hope is a very strong, dynamic, constantly changing, fluid, alive with the spirit group of people. So we come together once a month in a circle of care meeting is what it's called and we pray and worship together first and then we sharpen our skills pastorally working on some of the training topics that we had entered into initially and we debrief together. Um, we're constantly trying to make our, our skills a little bit more sharp for our ministries and our ministries are so vast and they are changing and what's unique to the community of hope is that the lay chaplain is has that ongoing conversation with god about what it is next that is for them to do so there's no um, mediators telling the lay chaplain what he or she is supposed to do next that's up to the person so right now we plug into all kinds of secular agencies um, Health Court of Hall County is one that we do. There's some of us involved in um, the United Way's Read, Learn, Succeed program. Some of us bring communion to parishioners. Some of us are at Lanier Village Estates or hospice programs. Mm -hmm. So there's all kinds of things that people do. Somebody is doing an incredible job with the refugee resettlement program here in Hall County. And I think what's unique to the community of hope training is that like I said before you take it with you wherever you go so you find yourselves in these amazing spaces that um, invite a deeper presence with God in the moment it just sounds remarkable Laura it really has been and I'm yeah. so grateful to the community here at Grace for supporting the community of hope and I know that we have lots of work still to go. We know we're human and we make mistakes and we are absolutely a community with all its rubs and weirdness, but there's so much love and there's so much love to still give. That's great. So what are the hopes and dreams of the community of hope here at Grace? I would say, and this is a big dream, but we're supposed to dream big, right? Yes. I would say that it would be wonderful for everybody at Grace to be trained in Community of Hope. And I might not mean that officially or formally, but for everybody here to take hold of our charge to love one another and to understand that pastoral caregiving is a transformational um, time, not just for the care receiver, but for the caregiver. That we have to step away from this idea of checking boxes or doing good for someone else because every lay chaplain will tell you that whenever we spend time just practicing presence for somebody and mm -hmm. practicing empathetic listening that we ourselves are transformed through it so i would say our dream is to make it bigger for everybody to be trained for everybody to to get out there and do what they feel they are called to do because we all know we have gifts every single one of us has not just one but many gifts that God has given us to do the incredible work in this world that's wonderful Laura thank you we're all so glad that you're here with us and that you brought this to us it's been a tremendous honor and I'm so grateful for all of you